Okay, Kyle Braxton from Home and Away on the Dog and Bone. Very good morning to you, Nick. Hello, good morning to you. Great to catch up with you, buddy. Thanks very much for joining us on the show this morning. Exciting times ahead. You're in Mildura this weekend, mate. Yes, yes, I am indeed. Really looking forward to it. We were talking about that just a moment ago off here. You haven't been to Mildura before, have you? No, I haven't, actually. I'm, I'm enjoying getting down to Victoria a bit more now. Cause my dad's actually from Melbourne, so now I'm on this side of the country. <laughs> um, exploring Victoria is something I'd love to do. You come from my old uh, stamping ground, Margaret River. Pretty good waves there at Margaret River, too, isn't there, buddy? Yeah, good waves down there. Good wine, good... Everything, really. <laughs> yeah, well, it's great to have you here in Mildura, like I say, this weekend, this coming Saturday. For those people who don't know, explain exactly what it is you're doing. You're doing a couple of uh, appearances around the place, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be around and exploring the region a little bit. I hear it's, uh, it's pretty big on the motorsports, which I'm pretty excited about. It certainly is, mate. There's uh, plenty of motorsports superstars that have come out of Mildura. In fact, we've got one of the fastest people in Australia based wow. here in Mildura when it comes to top field drag racing in Darren Morgan. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, get a chance to catch up with him and maybe check out his vehicle. Very, very cool machine. But yeah, uh, home, and, home and Away, mate, what a sensational TV series. So big here in Australia, overseas as well as we know. In fact, I believe that uh, the lovely Chloe from the UK is listening to us, mate, as we speak. She's a big fan <laughs> of yours, and she wanted oh, me really? to say hello. Oh, well, hello. Hello to you, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, you must be loving uh, your time on Home and Away, eh? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's a massive honour to be a part of such a, a huge show. And obviously it's been running for, I think we're in our 26th year now. Amazing. Um, so just trying to, you know, just join in with the <laughs> how big it is, I guess. And, uh, you know, your character, Kyle Braxton, you know, for those people who don't know, explain exactly what Kyle does and what he gets, what, what he gets, well, what he's about, essentially. Um, uh, uh, Summer Bay is quite a magical place. It kind of uh, takes bad boys and turns them into better people. So um, it's kind of what my character went through. He entered the show. He's a half-brother of the three Braxton boys, you know, the heavily tattooed sort of cool surfer gang there. Yeah. And uh, when I came in, I was a bit angry and a bit <laughs> a bit of a, a loose one. So a when he came rim. there... He, Bit of a rebel, kidnapped yeah. his brother, took him to the <laughs> desert, that sort of thing. Wasn't, wasn't too nice. As you do. <laughs> As you do, but um, yeah, I guess he kind of got embraced by the community there and and the brothers sort of looked past uh, his evil side and, and saw some sort of goodness in him and uh, tried to nurture it, I guess. And um, he's come a long way since then and yeah, he's, he's about to have a bit of a love interest and things like that. So he's calming down now, maybe becoming a bit of a better guy. Now, how does the character Kyle Braxton compare to Nicholas or Nick Westerway? <laughs> uh, there's, um, there's some days when I think we're exactly the same. And others, <laughs> <laughs> others when we're completely different. But, um, yeah, there's a few things. I think uh, he's quite quite intelligent, quite street smart. Yeah. Um, I'd like to consider myself the same in, in some regards. Uh, but there is a side of him that is uh, is a bit aggressive and, and snaps quite easily, yeah. and uh, I think that that's the difference between between my character and me. So I think I'm a a little more level headed, a bit more calm. <laughs> How do you get on with the rest of the cast? It looks like a very very close knit type of family, doesn't it? Oh, it's great. Home and Away is a massive family, and I don't think the show could survive for this long uh, without it being that way. Um, everyone's very, very friendly and very welcoming. They know that, you know, guest roles are going to come and go and regulars are going to come in and be there for a long time. So everyone, uh, they find a way to, to work with each other in a way that is so beneficial to, to each other and to the show. It's fantastic. Yeah, to find yourself on a home and away, where does the inspiration for acting come from, buddy? Um, uh, a creative childhood. I don't know. I, I grew up playing music and, and a lot of sport and trying a lot of different things. And uh, at the back end of high school, I just realised it's really what I wanted to do and yeah. to give it a shot. And um, a couple of years trying landed me at uh, WAPA, which is the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts in Perth. Right. And um, yeah, from there it was three years of full on work and then moved to Sydney and I was just really lucky to pick up an audition that I sink my teeth into. Are you sort of like, I guess you're probably not surprised. Surprise is probably the wrong word, but I mean, Home and Away is so massive, isn't it? 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, not just here in Australia, but like I say, overseas as well. Oh, yeah, I was, I was surprised at how, how far it went, actually, when I yeah. joined the show. I realised that, you know, it plays in England and, and Ireland and places like that, but it's... Yeah, as far as I know, it's sold in over a hundred countries. So. And the good thing about Home and Away is uh, you watch all—I mean, you can see all demographics watching it. And like my auntie, she's eighty-five and mm. never ever misses a show of Home and Away. Yeah, oh, we love we love the fans like that, and I've met plenty of them. It's just amazing how it picks up new generations and it keeps the old ones going as well. So it it just spreads. We have a massive cast, and yeah. all the storylines are always interweaving, so if you're not interested in one, you know that in a couple of scenes time it's going to pick up on the storyline that has hooked you in. And, you know, when that storyline disappears, there'll be another one that'll catch your interest. And I think that's, you know, part of its success. Yeah. And Summer Bay looks like a pretty awesome place to live too, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind living there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do live there. That's true. <laughs> Well, like I say, you're in town this weekend. It's going to be great to have you here in Mildura. Really looking forward to catching up with you. And yeah, absolutely. Me too. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool to have you here in Mildura. But thanks very much for your time this morning. Loving your character. You, you played incredibly well. It's just a great oh, series, you. Home and Away. We all love it. And uh, like I say, it's great to catch up. Thanks very much, buddy. And I'll see yeah. you on Saturday, mate. No worries. I'll see you when I get down there. I'll buy you a Coke. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, mate. Thanks very much. He's a legend. That is uh, Kyle Braxton, obviously Nick Westaway from Home and Away. Make sure you check him out in town this weekend, this coming Saturday. We'll have further details about